know what the God, what God of the Bible, the true God, the one God, thinks about homosexuality and his perversion is real clear. He had an entire chapter dedicated to, to how he destroyed the city with fire and brimstone. He brought hellfire down on Sodom and destroyed it completely. Yet you'll still have some people that they, they think they're cute, they think they're real smart, and they say, oh, no, you think he destroyed them because they're, they're homosexuality. No, 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 no. He destroyed them because of their pride. And they'll make you turn to Ezekiel chapter 16. Well, we're going to see what Ezekiel chapter 16 actually says because we're not just going to read one verse, we're going to read two. And obviously you can read the entire... So you can read the entire passage in context, but here's the problem because they want to look at the one verse, but if you read just the very next verse after it, it'll explain further why they were destroyed. But the first verse, it's not like it's good anyways. Because the first verse we're looking at, verse number 49 there, Ezekiel chapter 16, verse 49, the Bible says, Behold, this was the iniquity of thy sister Sodom. Right? So they're saying, see, this is their sin. It has nothing to do with homosexuality. It was just their pride. It says, Behold, this was the iniquity of thy sister Sodom. Pride, fullness of bread, and abundance of idleness was in her and in her daughters. Neither did she strengthen the hand of the poor and needy. So this iniquity was found in Sodom. Absolutely. They were full of pride. Well, the Sodomites today are full of pride. Any homo is full of pride because they're children of pride. That's right. And Satan's their king, as we saw in the book of Job. They are children of pride. But let's keep reading to the next verse. Because if you say, well, God just destroyed them because they had pride as their sin. No, there's many people who have pride as a sin. But God doesn't just rain fire and brimstone down upon them. Even Nebuchadnezzar, think of the example of Nebuchadnezzar, right? He was really lifted up and full of himself. He looked at great Babylon and saying, oh, look what my hands have done and how great I am. I have this great kingdom. And what did God do to him? He turned him. He gave him the heart of a beast, but he didn't destroy him. He gave him the heart of the beast till he realizes, you know what? There's a God in heaven that, that, that rules over things and it's not you. And after that, he humbled himself and he acknowledged the Lord. Right? So it is possible, and I believe he got saved also. I believe that he did end up putting his faith in the Lord, not just having that understanding. People can have a pride problem that are not reprobate, that are not given up on. Okay? That is a common sin that can happen to anyone getting, having pride. But there's a difference between having pride and being one of the children of pride and being someone who this is just their regular attribute. Um, but let's keep reading here in Ezekiel 16 because when we, we didn't get to the destruction part yet. Now, was pride, fullness of bread, and abundance of idleness sins of Sodom? Absolutely. They were wealthy, they didn't have anything to do, and they were full of themselves. And that's what leads people then down this, this dark path to where they ended up becoming reprobate because... They rejected God, and they just had no time, and they, were, they, or they had all the time that they needed to, to get into all kinds of mischief and all kinds of wickedness. But look at verse number 50. It says, and they were haughty. So there's pride again. That word haughty just means they're proud. And they were haughty and committed abomination before me. Hmm, I wonder what abomination they committed before him. Well, we know that the Bible says, if a man lie with mankind, he lies with a woman. Both of them have committed what? An abomination. And everybody knows that's what was going on in Sodom. So he says, They were haughty and committed abomination before me, colon, Therefore I took them away as I saw good. So what's the therefore, therefore? Because of their abomination, he took them away. That's why he rained fire and brimstone on them. It's... it's <laughs> Oh, no, no, it's just a pride. No. Their pride is just one of their attributes, one of their main attributes. Their abomination is what got them destroyed from off the face of the earth. It was the abominations that were being committed by the, the people of the land before the children of Israel came in and conquered the land is what God wiped them out for. Why none of them were supposed to be kept alive and remaining because of all the abominations that they committed. It wasn't because of their pride. It was because of their abominations. 